Everyone knows it's the biggest job you can do. Masculinity without kind of aggression, a strength that just comes from a confidence, a freedom of spirit. Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. We're really excited to have Rebecca Fowler here. Rebecca Fowler is the founder of 11th Hour Matchmaking, which is a premier matchmaking service here in Scottsdale and Phoenix. If you could, Rebecca, tell us a little bit about you and your story. How did you get into it? Well, thank you, Michael, for having me. How I got into this is through my experience with being single um, and also always having um, the success um, in the past of matching up um, friends together. So with the, um, after my divorce and dating, um, I decided to get into something that I really enjoy and that's bringing people together. I'm out there socially, so I have a very large pool of um, amazing single um, people. And so my databases are constantly growing with amazing singles looking for love. So one of the things that we get often is we have a lot of calls daily from people across the United States and beyond. And they always ask, why shouldn't I go to a matchmaker? And I said, well, if you want to learn how to fish, you go to us. If you want to learn exactly. where the fish are and actually people that have the fish or the men and the women, go to someone like Rebecca. And so for matchmaking in particular, tell us a little bit two pieces of advice you could give a single guy or a girl on how they could be successful in that hard dating world? Well, I require with my clients that they go on at least three dates. Hmm. So the first date is sort of more of the dress to impress mm -hmm. and everybody's nerves um, are a little, you know, everybody's a little nervous and um, about meeting each other. So you never really get to feel that person entirely sort of who they are mm -hmm. on the first date. Mm -hmm. the, and so the second date should be more of a, it's gonna be a little bit more comfortable and relaxed. Mm -hmm. um, and then the third date um, that you can go on is maybe an all day type date to really get to know the person and something that you both enjoy doing, whether it's hiking, trip to Sedona, um, you know, whatever that may be that you both um, would like to try. Mm -hmm. so, so definitely three. Um, dates um, that I uh, definitely require. Um, the second would be when you meet somebody, whether it's on a dating app and you have a date, let's say the date goes great mm -hmm. and the first thing you do after the date going, this is a person that I could get to know. Mm -hmm. You get in the car, you look at your phone and the first thing that comes up is somebody you've matched with. Mm -hmm. My advice is do not look at it and delete that app. Why would you sabotage a good date by already looking at somebody else? So it's very important that you um, concentrate on that one hmm. person. Um, so I recommend deleting all, any type of distraction apps, you know, and concentrate on that person. Well, there you go. You heard it from Rebecca's mouth, yeah. and hopefully you can implement that into your dating life and have success in life and beyond. Well, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you for having we me. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks.